everyone and welcome for this new video today we're doing a haul a Disneyland Paris haul because I just came back from a three-day trip and I wanted to get that over with I'm not gonna lie because I want to use <laughs> whatever is in that bag so let's get started let's start with the paper things what I call the paper thing is things that I didn't really buy although the first two things I did buy them but you know Things that you get around the park that can be a free biscuit, that can be a, a coaster, that can be a postcard in your hotel, whatever. I want to show you that because, yeah, I'm a collector like that and I'm sure that a lot of people will understand me. Anyway, so let's start with, it's the 30th anniversary in Disneyland Paris. So with a lot of food and drinks that they're serving, especially when it's specially for the 30th, they're offering a cookie like that. So they're quite cool. They're embossed with the logo of the 30th. I got a few of them because uh, basically at the Sequoia Lodge, every time you were um, getting a hot chocolate or a coffee or whatever, they were giving you one. And I got a special coffee at the Skyline Bar and they were giving me that so yeah i kept them they're just sort of like a shortbread we call it sable in french and I'm, and then they were really good though i had one just to taste it but yeah i just wanted to show you that they're not gonna last but it's a nice thing they have going on right now in the minutes then the real paper thing thing so we had um we spent the evening at the skyline uh, bar at the marvel hotel and i nicked the um, the coasters and i nicked the <laughs> The, the them because I thought they were really cool, so I just wanted to show it to you. Very nice. Again, don't ask me. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. And these ones, which were given everywhere, which are giving everywhere at the minute, and I got some last time, but I can't help myself. I can't help myself. Oh no, this coaster. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I'm a hoarder in terms of souvenir like that. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> then, uh, in the Sequoia Lodge, same as the Newport Bay, if you look at my haul in September, they're giving um, small postcards like that, which are really cool in the theme of the hotel. In the Newport Bay, I had Mickey and Minnie in their um, nautical outfit. And here is Bambi, which is quite cool. Um, and I nicked the Do Not Disturb sign as well because I thought it was really cute. So yeah, it's in English and in French at the back. And also, I just, it's really random, but I want to show you the Sequoia Lodge uh, map because I thought it was a bit more cooler than the one in Newport Bay. I don't know why. So it's a really nice souvenir to keep as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. Well, yes and no. So we went through some sort of a roller coaster of emotion before arriving at Disneyland. So when I arrived, I already had my lanyard that I got last time. And thank God, because it wasn't everywhere to be found with uh, Chippendale. So I got this to go on it to put all my needed things, such as my pass which is quite cool. I love the design of this one. Um, last time we went three years ago, uh, we had uh, just, just, there were some characters on it. I love that it's themed this year for the anniversary. I have my, um, that goes with the lanyard. This is the Disney pin trading um, thing that goes with the lanyard and photo pass. Every time I had a photo pass from a character I was putting inside. So I thought it was really cool. So yeah, it's the 30th anniversary themed one. And I'm probably, I'm probably going to use it for the tube here. So I'm going to reuse it, which is quite cool. Or future trip. Who knows? And, uh... No, <laughs> the last two paper things actually I paid for. Oh, I paid for the thing on my lanyard, but my dream came true. I met Chippendale. It was an hour and a half in the cold, but it was worth it. So I had I had to get the picture. It was let me just tell you. It was hard to get a frame. Apparently, they all sold out. I was really, really pissed about it because I could have got some in September. They were sold out of the anniversary one. They sold out of Disneyland Paris. They only had Star Wars one and a Marvel one, which I don't mind if you have a Marvel or a Star Wars picture to put in it. But I didn't. I had Chip and Dale. That would have looked weird. So we had to go through so many um, gift shops to uh, and photo when they were printing photo pass. That um, that yeah. So anyway, bottom line. I got my picture. Yeah, it's a very selfish one. It's only me on it because, again, it's a dream come true. I'm just gonna scoot myself on that side and gonna show you a picture of me and Chippendale when I was about seven years old, sort of. So I wanted, I mean, it's a, it's in 30 years in the making. So yeah, so I framed this one just because this is a very fun memory of mine. 
but uh, they had that was the last frame there was not another so one I got a second one with my husband and I and Chip and Dale and, and I just need to find a frame now but um, it's really really cool um, really love it um, prices wise um, I don't think it's worth a whole video but I paid 29 pounds uh, for the two um, pictures and the frame just say it I don't know what kind of price was that but anyway if you get one thing i think it's this because if you can find the frames obviously or even if you don't just because they're worth every memory so um if you don't get them in the park get your card buy them online um because uh, on the photo bus card you had like 15, 15 days and they kept for like 45 days anyway uh it's all explained but um yeah worth everything no let's get to the merch let's uh start with what i'm wearing probably the ears got them in september they're just here for the purpose of the video but the t-shirt let me get up so that's my t-shirt i was eyeing that t-shirt last time i was in but i was not sure i i debate with myself and then i didn't, I didn't get it and this time, obviously, it was cool. I wanted to get a jumper, but there was nothing I was fancying. Or there wasn't... Uh, I got this, the Purple Spirit jersey um, that everyone has and that everyone... I got the Purple Spirit jersey with the castle, which is not actually the Disneyland Paris castle, but anyway. And there was a white um, Spirit jersey for the anniversary, but I don't do white. My, my messy self doesn't do white. So I went with a t-shirt. It's a nice quality t-shirt. That was... 23 euro i believe i nipped the the tag um so yeah that's the only piece of cloth that i got because believe it or not it was really hard finding something that it was not gimmicky or you know i didn't want to spend money just for spending money so yeah that's that's that then let me do that first so i can give it to her to the sleepy kitty cat over there i got her bagheera is it bagheera in english um the panther the panther in uh, mowgli they got tiny little fellas like that all over uh, the the park, and there is we we were debating with Van. There was um, so many anyway, but it was the more deba the debate was between um, Bagheera and Van. So and we got uh, Bagheera. So I can give it to her because she's sleeping here. You can see all of her toys are behind me. So yeah, um, they were twelve euro I believe, and a lot of kids had them, and I think they're quite cool. She liked to sleep on things, so we got that for her. Uh, I'm just gonna grab things as they come. There's a lot of anniversary stuff because I think it's what's worth bringing. And to be fair, I feel that the merch, except from holiday stuff or um, yeah, holiday stuff like Halloween or Christmas or Easter maybe, are always the same. So yeah, we got chocolates. Just because, yeah. <laughs> and my husband's like, yeah, for late night stack. And again, usually the chocolate is quite cool. So. This was seven euro. I'd like to give you the price alone. Um, then I got this. Last time I got another tin uh, of biscuits, which was the um, more Euro Disney uh, type. Uh, if you go and watch my other haul from September, you will see it. But um, there is this one as well. And this one, I saw it in only one shop last time. And I couldn't see it in other shops, you know, near Main, Main Street. But this time it was everywhere. So I got it. I really, I really enjoy the 30th anniversary design. I really love the colors. I really love what they're wearing. I, I, I thoroughly loved it. Along with the 50th one in the States. I think they did a brilliant job um, with the theming and everything. So here is the box. You got some biscuit again some sable and again it's not really um it's 13 euro so yeah um i will keep that forever and ever the tin so totally worth the price in my opinion and it's a bit bigger than the other tin that i got and it was the same price uh what else again another anniversary thing this so I do not, I mean, a lot of people, and I don't judge, a lot of adults goes and make character signs. I do have a mine at home. I need to grab them, actually, uh, from my childhood. But this is a different one. So this is an autograph book, but you can put pictures in it. And I thought that's going to be my memory book from that uh, trip instead of uh, just... What I do usually is that I go online on Snapfish or uh, Photobox and I I do a photo album. But this time um, I'm just gonna go just go and do a memory keeping scrapbooking style stuff. So it's quite cool inside. And basically, and I'm not gonna lie, it's Chip and Dale. It's Chip 
I didn't realize it was cheap in there. That's so cute. You can put a picture here. Uh, technically, you can make the character sign here, but I can, I can draw. I'm a, I draw, so I can totally uh, put something together. But uh, I'm gonna put a picture here. I can put another picture here if I want. So I thought there's 25 slots. And I thought it was very good value for the money. And um, again, as uh, a memory keeping it stuff, it was cool. And again, I love the design, love the color, love everything. And it was only 13 euro. Again, I think value for money is way worth than anything else that you can buy. One thing, uh, I feel like I've only bought 30 years anniversary in food related thing, hot chocolate. This has been recommended by Sam for God. So my husband is a, ch a hot chocolate lover. I'm not. Uh, so we got that. We can keep the tin after, which is quite cool. Um, so yeah, it's the uh, chocolate powder, 32% cocoa. Um, and again, it's theme with the anniversary. It's 13 euro, I guess. Yeah, again, <laughs> the theming in the price. And yeah, I think again, it's a nice... Um, either gift to bring back or a thing to bring for yourself. Because again, you can keep the container which is quite cool. And usually their stuff are good. The biscuits are good. Uh, the chocolate is good. Uh, wait, if you get tea, what's wrong with that thing here? If you get tea, uh, usually they're quite good. So why not? Um, again, it's still anniversary stuff. So um, I got this. These are magnetic bookmarks. And I didn't see I I haven't heard anyone talking about it. I saw them everywhere. Again, they're quite cool. They are five quid, I believe. I think if I remember correctly, because they had the big as well uh, pens. They were 15 quid. That was even worth it. I'm a stationary lover. I do journaling. I do um, planning. So this is going to be really cool. So there's Minnie, Mickey, Donald and Goofy. So quite cool item to bring back. Again, when you bring that as a gift, maybe it's not much, but if you bring chocolate with it, you're good to go. Got this. <laughs> I eyed that for ages. It was at every chill point. This is just a reusable bag, but it's not too big. It's not too small. It's just a nice... I'm not going to put it out because it's nicely <laughs> folded. It was only five quid. And I think, uh, again, for you, for a person, um, again, for you, for a gift, it's a nice one. And I'm going to keep that for a long time. So... The last few things in my bag are small things. So first of all, they brought back the candy. They were out for the longest time. So again, they're great gifts because, you know, let me just say that merch is expensive, but not that expensive. But if you have to bring a lot of gifts to a lot of people, this and chocolates and things like that, because I've already, I don't have it, but there was a bag of chocolate with the um, 30th anniversary logos uh, that I got from one of my colleagues and I got a tin of that. I think it's a great gift. It's very thoughtful. Um, personally, so I got Mickey, um, Pluto, and Chippendale, obviously. And they all have different flavor. Chippendale are apple. Um, Mickey is um, red fruit. And uh, Pluto is lemon. Uh, I love them because they're good. And I, again, I paint and I'm a drawer. So uh, I'm an artist, basically, <laughs> in my hobbies, in my free time. So I can put some colors in that afterwards. So they are more than worth the one pound each and affordable great for you for someone so i like to bring them but last time i went there wasn't any so yeah, yeah pretty happy and i don't recall having any cheap and dell one just it and they changed the design i don't know if i have an old one here to show you but uh the design is different so i got that and before we get into the only three pins that I got, um, this, a magnet. Again, last time I was in September, the choice for magnet was... Mm. So I get they got a um, uh, delivery <laughs> of some sort at the, at the time I was there. So this is a mixture of a lot of attraction, even the studio. So I, I, it's really thorough it's really it's really cool i love the colors i love everything it's not too tacky and it's not a plasticky thing because the plasticky one tend to go a bit dark over the time this the one i mean the plasticky the rub the rubbery one if you know what i mean so this one uh, a little bit better and the the pin pins pins the pins i'm not gonna lie there was not a choice that was 
you know, it was the same everywhere. So I was a bit disappointed, even um, even on. I mean, we did the Tower of Terror. I mean, it was not the first time, but I want to get a pin, and I'm pretty sure there was Tower of Terror um, pins um, when I went in September. But there was nothing. It was the same pins over and over everywhere. Um, but I got this, which I was eyeing last time, but I didn't get. So I got the Chippendale one, the rain, the Rescue Ranger one. Um, first of all, because I met them, so it's a nice token, and to go on to go on my lanyard. So I mean, I, I got a lot of Chippendale one, but I, I must say, I collect them, so it was a must-have. There was a lot of them, but I can't get all of them. You know, there's a budget to respect here. Uh, then they came out with the Christmas one when I was here. There was not many to choose from, but obviously. There was a Chippendale one, so I got it, and this was coming in a plush toy ornaments of some sort uh, for the Christmas decoration as well. Um, so yeah, very cute. Um, those, by the way, are mostly orange or um, yellow, which are 9 or 11 pounds. And we did this um, Spider-Man web uh, attraction, and I had to get this because that's what you're fighting in that um attraction so i was pretty happy that they had a pin to commemorate that because like many people i do collect pins because of that for the experience for the time for a date um all that jazz um for the 30th anniversary i already have a few if you go back to my haul and uh to a few haul from the disney shop i've got quite a few uh, so i was happy not happy but um i was happy not getting it in 2022 because i got it last time so yeah that's about it i think i was very good overall there was many things that i wanted to get um i wanted to get the um, the there was many things that i wanted to get that i didn't get but again there was a budget. It's already a very big expense to go to Disney. So I want to bring back things that make sense. So And I want to show you stuff that makes sense as well. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed that little haul. Um, so it's a bit all over the place. But I like when it's a bit all over the place. Because you just grab things as they come. Um, and that's it. I wish you well. Have a great day. And I'll see you in my next one.